Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Just as I said in the previous video, today we're gonna tear down the power supply of PlayStation 5. If you haven't seen the power supply of Xbox Series X, you can click the upper right corner to check it out. Okay, back to today's video. Here is the PS5, and the power socket is in here. So the power supply is just integrated in here. Except for the power supply of PS5, we also have the power supply of PS4 and the power supply of PS3. We can see the power supply of PS5 is more like a gun. The other two adopt a regular rectangle shape. The power supply of PS4 is the largest, and the power supply of PS5 and PS3 are almost the same size. Then let's focus on the power supply of PS5, and the model is ADP-400DR. It can support two different inputs. The output is 12 volts, 31 amp. That's 372 watts. The manufacturer is Delta. Remove the screws, and the shell is also fixed by clips. Treasure Lab found it also adopts the topology of PFC and LLC, which is the same as the power supply of Xbox Series X. And let's start from the input. The input socket is marked with 2.5 amp 250 volts, and the input cables are protected by insulating tube. Here is the tubular fuse. There are two big common mode chokes and a small one for filtering out EMI interference. This is the varistor marked with 10S561K. There are two blue wire capacitors. The bridge rectifier also comes from Yang J and is fixed on the heatsink. Turn to back, here is the input capacitor discharge chip from power integrations. And the safety X capacitor comes from Shanghai Electronics CMPP series. The capacity of red filter capacitor is 4.7 microfarad. The green surge suppressor is next to it, used to suppress surge currents. The PFC boost inductor is provided by Delta. And two electrolytic capacitors come from Nippon Chemicon KMQ series, 450 volts, 220 microfarad. A heat sink is next to the PFC boost inductor. The thermal adhesives can enhance heat dissipation. The right side is PFC Boost MOSFET, which comes from ST Microelectronics and adopts TO-220FP package, 650 volts, 0.0880 ohm. The ultra-fast rectifier diode comes from Lighton, with send voltage is 600 volts. There are two small Rubicon capacitors and a Y capacitor next to the electrolytic capacitor. The resonant inductor is wound with least wire. The half bridge MOSFET also comes from ST Microelectronics and adopts TO 220FP package. 650 volts, 0.28 ohm. The transformer is also provided by Delta. The primary controller is Delta's customized model marked with DAP053T, which integrates PFC controller and LLC controller. There are three Everlight 1013 optocouplers. Here is another customized chip from Delta. It works with optocoupler to regulate the output voltage and avoid overcurrent. There are 10 electrolytic capacitors and 2 solid capacitors at the output. 2 solid capacitors come from Nippon Chemicon, 60 volts, 1500 microfarad. 10 electrolytic capacitors come from Rubicon, 60 volts, 1000 microfarad. Those two synchronous rectifiers are fixed on the heat sink. The LLC synchronous rectifier controller is on the back. Model is MPS MP6924A, same as Xbox Series X. It integrates two synchronous rectification controllers and is used for the synchronous rectification of two secondary coils. And it can support input of 4.2 to 35 volts, so it's suitable for PD 3.1 140W power supply. Those two synchronous rectifiers come from APEC and are used for synchronous rectification, 60 volts, 3.2 mA. Well, that's all for today's video. Maybe you can find it adopts the same topology as Xbox Series X, LLC, and PFC. It's very suitable for high power power supply because of its high integration. It's manufactured by Delta, and the capacitor comes from Japanese brands like Rubicon, Nippon Chemicon. So its overall quality is pretty good. We have taken apart the power supply of Xbox Series X and PS5. It seems like there is another power supply that needs to take part. Yep, Xbox Series S. Please let us know if you want to see it by leaving your comments below. See you in the next video.